and I log into another student's account, I wanted to show you how that might look from another student's point of view. So this time it might be Kate. And you can see here that Kate's got an activity waiting for response. So I might add a response for Kate, place your object here. I might just actually create a little, uh, I wonder if I should just upload a picture. Just, uh, no, I'll do a little shape. This is obviously not an object below, but it might have some sharp points that we can actually talk about. That looks good. Click here. And this time we might actually use that tool to actually signify the sharp parts. So once again, this is where you can kind of look at some different things and say, these are the tools that we're encouraging to use as well. And so that was Kate, I think. I think we'll do the ticky box and just see how that looks. Now, if I click on those activities and we look at those activities here, and we look at the classroom activities, and if I click on the take a photo, you can see here that Kate, because I'm logged in as Kate, can also see Ralph's work as well. So do you remember when we set up our account settings at the start, we allowed our students to comment on each other's work? Well, this is where, as part of the task, we could ask um, our students to make some sort of, or give some feedback to other students. Now, I'm not sure kind of the systems and the different structures that you, you guys have got in place, but we used to have three, uh, we used to have uh, three stars and a wish. So I might encourage my students to give um, some feedback here and say, um, great photo, very clear. Um, are there any other smooth parts? So just getting our students to really kind of reflect. Um, and don't forget, if it's not text-based, if you don't want to do text, there's actually an audio recording you can do if that wasn't there. So if that wasn't there, you could actually do an audio recording going forward, which is really, really important. So I'll just paste that back in and I'll post it. Now, the like is an interesting one. I used to use with my students, like as not a way of saying, I like your work, but actually I've seen your work. So it was almost like a little checklist to say, I've actually seen that. And so um, I always used to like the like to say that my students actually saw that work, not necessarily I actually like it, but depending on the age of your students, that will be interesting. So you can see here that people have got three responses. One's waiting for approval. I've got drafts got one that's not responded, two have responded, and Barry I'm still kind of waiting for. And this is just a great way of seeing each other's work. If you feel that it's the kind of task where the students are just basically doing the same thing and you're getting that repetition and you're getting that kind of recipe, you could really quickly turn off the ability to look at each other's work and comment on that as well. And I might, and I might go through that at the end if we've got time again. So that's from a student's point of view and you can see that the work's starting to come in and actually going down here, which is fantastic. So what I'll do is I'll sign out one more time.